Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm doing a very, I sound so crap. Today I want to share with you my favourite full lipsticks. So I've got eight lipsticks here to share with you. I tend to steer away from the pale nudes and the pinks and go towards the more darker colours. I don't have a huge selection so as I was going through my collection I definitely feel there's a few full colours missing which I would like to try. So perhaps that wasn't the most smartest idea because that just means spending more money and perhaps give you guys some ideas of what maybe you'd like to try for the fall and also let me know your fall colors which are your favorite go-to lip colors for the fall so i love my pale nudes i love my bright coral colors but this is what i have for the fall i'll start with these first these are just um regular lipsticks not liquid lipsticks i'll start with the lightest first for these so this one here I'll start with first, it's Maybelline. Maybelline seems to be a really good option of a brand for a drugstore brand for lipsticks has always been a very good option for me. I love their matte formulas, their satin formulas. They always perform really nice on the lip and they're so affordable and I think they have a really huge color um, selection for everyone out there. So this first one is 930 Truffle Tees and it's like a sheer satin I'd say. It's got a sheen on it. It's just a comfortable lipstick to wear during the day. Yeah, so what I think I'll do is to save time is just go through quickly each of the lipsticks I have in the collection and then do a full um, try on of each one. I will put foundation on my lips in between applications so you can see the true colour of the lipstick. So this first one is 930 and it's Truffle Tees. I'll just get closer. It's just a really versatile colour, um, quite a warm tone and sheer satin sheer finish i would say for that one then the next one is another maybelline one and this is in a matte formula this is 545 beige babe again maybelline matte lipsticks they feel really nice on the lips they have quite good staying power there is a difference it's slightly paler um again it feels so soft going on the lips and it has good staying power it's not as drying as a liquid lip which i like a lot very comfortable to wear i think maybelline are really good with their lipsticks i do and then oh then the last one is the anastasia beverly hills and this is in the color dread um this is a matte finish and it's probably one of the darkest ones i own in this formula in this style of lipstick um it's like a i would say a deep well not a deep chocolate but like a chocolate color um i do like to wear it in the fall and it is the darkest one out of all of those. Um, I don't find it as drying as a liquid lip. It's not the most comfortable one I have. I think the Maybelline matte is actually more comfortable than this to wear, um, but it's still not unbearable. It's a nice lipstick, gorgeous color to wear for the fall if you want a deeper tone than the other ones. So there's, that's my options of those. And I feel naked right now. I feel so naked without wearing any lipstick, but I won't, I'll just stick to it. On to the liquid lipsticks. My first drugstore one is the L'Oreal Les Chocolats um, Ultra Matte Lipsticks. I have three of these in my collection and Box O Chocolates is the darkest shade I have. Definitely what I would wear for the fall. A applying them is really nice. I love the way these apply. They do dry down to quite a drying finish but um, for me I always put on just a dab of lip gloss or lip balm on top just to make it feel more comfortable. Let's watch that there. So the Anastasia Beverly Hills and the L'Oreal are very, very similar. Um, the, st the tone is still different. It has slightly more of a pinkier tone to it than the Anastasia. Gorgeous colour. So nice. The next one I have is my most recent purchase of a lipstick. This is by Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. I love this color since I found it. I haven't stopped wearing it. It is Moi. It's, the color is called Moi uh, 708 and it's just, I just love it. I'm not, I've never been a really big fan of Rimmel lipsticks. Um, I know they have some decent ones. I had a red one a long time ago, so, but I've, I think they've stepped up their game when it comes to formulas of lipsticks i definitely like this formula and also their new stay satin um lipsticks they look amazing it's quite 
pale to the other ones. So that's that one there. It's another matte finish, but I just love the shade of this on my lips, um, my skin tone. Also, you know, if you are a similar skin tone to me, then you'll know what suits you. Anyone who's lighter than me or darker than me, these are obviously gonna look different on your lips. Um, my natural lip color is quite a pale pink. All the shades I'm mentioning won't look the same on everyone. It all goes down to different skin tones, etc. But I love this one. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip in Moi. The next one is a Victoria's Secrets one. It's a velvet matte lipstick and the color is Perfection. I'm gonna put that at the top of this one here, so. Um, the formula on this is a little bit more thicker to, to work with. It's more of a pinky, a deep pink shade. I probably will stick this on at the end because it, it probably will go with what I'm wearing today. It's definitely, it's definitely got a thicker formula to work with. It takes a little bit more time to dry down on the lips, but still a great color for fall. And then we have my Bare Minerals one, which I haven't worn for such a long time. This is the XYZ colour and it's a matte finish. Don't know why I always forget to use my products. It's more like a warm pinky brown shade, I would say. Definitely more of a sheer consistency to the other ones, but very, very, very comfortable to wear on the lips. Bare Mineral lipsticks are great. I found out about these last year and they have been um, one of the most comfortable lipsticks to wear on the lips. So if you're not a really big fan of liquid lipsticks, the, the way they tend to dry on your lips, Bare Minerals, you will love the formula of this because it just feels so comfortable to wear. It really does. And then my last one is Too Faced. Uh, I think it's cool. Is it Cool Girl or Child Star? This is Cool Girl. So Child Star, I believe, is more of a paler colour. But this one, again, beautiful, beautiful colour for fall. I like the way this applies on the lips. This is a really popular colour, I believe. And that does look very, very similar to all of them. They all have the same kind of tone to them, but they are different. So this one here on the top is the Too Faced Cool Girl. Okay, so I've gone through each lipstick, which I love to wear for fall. So let's go ahead and do the try on, and I'll be back in a second. So starting from here, we have Maybelline 930 Truffle Tees, then Maybelline again 545 Beige Babe, which is a matte finish, and then we have Anastasia Beverly Hills in Dread, and then starting with the liquid lipsticks, we have Rimmel Stay Matte in the colour Moi, and then we have Bare Minerals in the colour XYZ, and which is a matte finish as well. Then we have the Velvet Matte by Victoria's Secrets in Perfection. Then we have Too Faced Cool Girl. And then last we have L'Oreal um, Le Chocolat's Box O Chocolate. There is all the swatches. And as you can see, they are definitely different, but very similar. Awesome. My video hope you enjoyed all of my eight favorite fall lipstick swatches i have to say after doing that the um rimmel stay matte liquid lipstick amazing when it being applied felt so good on the lips so did the Too faced cool girl and the oh, 
the Bare Minerals was also top when it came to application and how comfortable it felt on the lips. And I think I let each one dry for about nearly 60 seconds. This one right now is a very, very comfortable matte finish. It is a velvet matte and it is the Victoria Secrets one, which is what I'm wearing at the moment. It's very, very comfortable to wear. The velvet mattes will transfer. Um, yes, they do transfer. The L'Oreal Les Chocolats, they don't budge off your lips. They have very, very good staying power, but they also feel more drying on the lips compared to the Victoria's Secret ones. So although it's a nice velvet matte finish, this will come off. But if you want the staying power of this, then you um, might want to add a little bit of lip oil lip balm or a lip gloss just in the center it doesn't have to be all over just to make your lips feel more comfortable when um, wearing something like this for a long period of time so playing with them again and going through them going through them with you guys has definitely showed me i'm impressed with all of those formulas great lipsticks hope you like the color choices and let me know in the comments below if they're your type of color for fall if not what ones do you like to wear that is it for now guys and i'll be back very soon with another video take care and have a great week